What's going on everybody? John here with Wicked Game Guides here to show you the Gargoyle Bident. This weapon kind of sucks. It has very low damage and I wouldn't recommend using it. It's got a really cool weapon set and some cool sound effects, but other than that, yeah. Anyway, let's check it out before you just turn this video off. Um, so, uh, it has very low base damage and according to my math, at plus five, it's gonna be 250 physical damage. I don't know if it's gonna stay at C scaling when it gets uh, fully upgraded, but uh, who knows? The wikis that I've been using as a resource for a lot of this data aren't updated on this weapon. Um, but it's only gonna do 250 physical damage at plus five, which is pretty bad for any weapon, especially if you're getting new game plus. Um, take a look at the lore. A two-pronged spear that imitates a weapon mentioned in an ancient text. Gargoyles are, are said to guard castles and forts from ill fortune, and they have appeared in many forms in all the great lands throughout history. Some of them are so meticulously crafted that they look as if they may come to life. Dun dun dun, because you killed a gargoyle to get this soul. Uh, it's crafted with the Belfry Gargoyle soul, which you can consume for 6,000 souls or... Um, Yeah, just craft it. <laughs> anyway, so here are the basic attacks for this weapon. Very big range. Kind of a cool sound effect that I haven't heard anywhere else. Really big range. I mean, how much cooler was the the gargoyle tail in Dark Souls 1 when you cut off that gargoyle's tail? I love that. I also miss that in Dark Souls 2. You can't cut off... You can't... Well, there's a, one or two situations where you can cut off tails, but you don't get anything cool for it. I love that about Dark Souls 1. That's my favorite thing, even though I never use any of those weapons. Um, so that was the basic attack. Really good range, and when the follow-up, you take a nice step forward if you push your enemy out of range. Heavy attack, same thing. Very similar, at least. A little bit slower, uses more stamina. Uh, step back, lunge forward, transitions very nicely into more basic R1 attacks. Same thing sprinting. Lots and lots of range with this pokey, pokey, pokey weapon. Uh, rolling overhand slam, which transitions nicely into more R1s. And the jump attack. Whoops, if I can do it. There we go. <laughs> Not a very dramatic sound for stabbing the ground. Swish. Oh, I got it that time. Uh, two hands. Same move set, basically. That's the basic here, the strong. Big steps forward. Keep your enemy within striking distance. Uh, step back. Poke. Same attack, sprinting. And f one from finally, the roll attack. Kind of unique for the rest of the weapon set. Doesn't transition as quickly into more R1s as the other abilities, but... Anyway. And the final jumping attack. Oh, God. Oh, God. 0 for 2. Strike 3? Nope. Yeah, got it. Uh, so anyway, that's the Gargoyle Bident. I don't even wish you had the gargoyle tail with that curved attack that I did in Dark Souls 1. So much better than this weapon. Or at least I wish this weapon had more damage because it is pretty freaking worthless. I mean, I guess, I mean, plus 118 damage is good, but that's because I have like 60 strength or something like that. But yeah, pretty miserable damage on this weapon. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Dark Souls 2 updates. Well, that's kind of cool. Get out of here! Go! Shoo! And check out the other uh, boss weapon showcase videos that I'm making. Game on!